What's up, guys? My name is Eros. This is the Red Rock Realm. It's time for an adventure. Now, today, we are starting out over here at our lovely cookie tower, where we have all of our beautiful subscriber cookies from all of you fantastic people out there. Now, like I said before in our last episode, I still have a ton of space available, and I've even got quite a few cookies left over as well from what I have made. So if you want to be featured on my subscriber cookie wall, make sure you join me in my fan Discord server so that uh, I can be sure to get your name up and make sure you have a cookie. So this, however, is not where we are going to be spending our time today. No, no, as we discussed at the very end of last, uh, the other, the... The last episode, the other day, that's what it was. Those are the words that I was looking for. As we discussed the other day at the end of the episode, uh, there has been a headhunt started. And uh, so far, we are relatively safe. And uh, I think that's mainly because I tend to play at times of the day that other people are not on. So uh, thankfully, we're, we're okay at the moment. However, this has provided a bit of an unforeseen uh, benefit on our part. You see, uh, considering the fact that PvP is basically an all-out war right now on Red Rock, uh, people are looking for some, uh, some sneaky ways of getting the job done, so to speak. And that means that over at Eros's Arrows, we have been making some sales. People are starting to understand the benefit of having some enchanted... no. Some potion-tipped arrows, that's the word. So, especially our arrows of harming. That's right, our death arrows have been selling like crazy. So first things first today, I am over here at our little hut, and I am brewing up as much potions of harming as I can manage. I've got plenty of ingredients available, so we're going to go ahead and get those arrows made. We're going to get our shop restocked so that we can make some money off of this situation, you know? So let me go ahead and get to that, and we'll go stock up. Alrighty, so we've got all of our arrows ready to go. I've even got a little supply here for myself because, of course, and specifically the reason why, if you take a look at the hotbar down here, you'll probably notice all of my levels are gone. And the reason for that is because of this. Yeah, yeah, that right there. Fire decided to come over here while we were getting our supplies. Did not even realize that he was quite here until it was too late. So, it's official. I jinxed myself at the start of the episode by saying that we had been relatively unscathed so far. And unfortunately, the strike has been made. So, I am on my way over to the shopping district to... uh go ahead and restock our shop, and I'm going to take a special little approach to that here. You ready for this? Ready? This is, uh, this is going to be my approach. There we go. Now, there are still the little potion effect bubbles. However, if we are quick, then we should be able to go relatively unnoticed. So let's go ahead and carefully make our way over there, and let's get our shop restocked.
that's right. Sadly, we did in fact lose our head to Chuji. But I will say I learned quite a lot from that encounter. And rest assured, that will not be happening again. I have a few more tactics up my sleeve now that I have learned. Because we are going to be smart about all of this, that's right. We are going to take every single death that we experience, and we are going to be applying it to future tactics. We are going to become unstoppable if it's the last thing we do. Now, sadly, I must admit that in that kerfuffle, sadly, we lost not only our sword but also our bow that we were using. It fell into the fiery pits, and unfortunately it is gone forever. Thankfully that is the only thing that we lost, but it does mean that we need to do some, uh, some work on getting some new gear set up for us. Uh, some fire aspect would probably be smart, considering everything's going on, and, you know, a good bow would probably be nice to have as well. And I think doing a little bit of fishing might be the right solution to that. But I also have spent some time AFK at one of our XP farms, so we do have 50 levels that we can work with. Yes, that's right. So uh, we should have plenty of XP available to get both a good sword and a very good bow. So let's go ahead and get that all put together now, because, well... You know, we we really don't want to die again. So, <laughs> that would not be good for our health. Go figure, dying, not being good for the health. <laughs> Who would have ever thought? There we go. Now, we are packing a punch, especially with this bow. I mean, ready for this? Check it out. There's a pig man that wandered over here. That is going to be our willing, not so willing, test subject. Where did it go? I think it knew what was coming for it, so it ran away. I know it's over here. Hello? Come out, come out. I just want to test my bow on you. Really, it's okay. You're not going to feel a thing. Hmm. Darn it, it got away from me. All right, well, I am pretty sure that there is a creeper over here. Yeah, right there. All right, ready? Beautiful. Look at that. That was great. All right, now let's see if... Now let's see if we can be enough of a marksman here. Let's see. Actually... I'm using uh, the arrows of weakness, and that's definitely not going to do us any good when it comes to taking things down. So we've got to make sure that we've got the arrows of harming right here, close at hand. Well, let's see now, Rennie. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Ooh, overshot it. That was actually a really true shot right there. All right, here we go. Oh, beautiful. Cooked and everything. And is that wool or is that a sheep head? I'm curious. With our uh, fancy little heads mod here, or not mod, add-on, excuse me, mobs should actually drop their heads somewhat consistently. Plus, it's useful to get the arrows back. I mean, these are kind of expensive, I mean. All right, well, no mob head there. I wonder if we can get one out of this uh, little piggy that is over here. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. Bah! Ha-ha! Beautiful. Works like a charm. No mob head from that either, but that is A-OK, -okay because we now have something much better on our side that we can duel with. So now we don't have to worry about a repeat of earlier. All right, now there is one more thing that I want to take a look at today here before we call it a day. Now, not only do we have the head hunt going on, but there is also this fancy little building over here that I want to take a look at really quick. This over here is the Quest Tavern, I think is what it's called. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So this over here is the Quest Tavern, and this 
is where you can come and you can uh, both make and supply, or I guess go on, different quests. So all of the yada 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 info is in here, but basically to simplify, you can either make a quest or you can go on a quest. So like for instance, Don here has made a quest and uh, has put all of the details here into this book requesting 15 stacks of oak wood. Now, obviously, someone has already fulfilled that request, or quest, not request, <laughs> and uh, the reward for that person is in here. So basically, you can make a quest, put it up here, and then you can basically have somebody do something for you to fulfill that quest and get paid, or vice versa, if somebody else makes a quest, you can take that quest and you can uh, go and procure place payment and rewards here. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Payment. Right. So basically, it's a membership. So you have to pay for a membership here to actually be able to go on quest. But basically, once you do that, if people make a quest, you can go on a quest and get paid for it. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so that is what I wanted to take a look at. Now, there's only that one quest, so not much for us to do there. But I do want to see if we can get a few points up on the headhunt. And we have that area over by our swamp that tends to be full of mobs. So let's head on over there. Now, for unfortunately, we don't have looting on our sword. So I might want to see if we can do something about that. But if not... Let's head over to that area either way and see if we can get a couple of heads so that we can start getting some points on our uh, little scoreboard over there. Yeah. <laughs> Da, da, da. Look at that. We've got ourselves a cow head. That is actually pretty, pretty rare. Well, it looks like the only one we were able to get was this cow head. But you know what? That is pretty dang good because these are actually pretty rare, and I think they might actually be worth some good points. So let's head on over to the headhunt building, and let's see if we can get any points up on the scoreboard for this nice little find here. Alright, let's see if any of the special quests on the board call for this uh, little cow head here. Let's see, phantom head, llama head, bee head, jungle farmer, or angry bee. Alright, so none of Callie's quests. Let's see, we've got one cow head right here, any of these other ones? 25 cow heads, 25 pig heads, and 25 chicken heads all together gives you 25 diamond blocks and 1,875 points. Oh, well, I don't think we're going to quite get that many. However, we can get 20 points and a fancy emerald block here. So I say, let's go ahead and name this here cow head. And there we go. We now have ourselves a nice little 20 points on the board, as well as a diamond, or not a diamond, I wish it was a diamond, an emerald block to call our own. 
Now, unfortunately, everybody, I am running short on time for this episode, but at least we were able to get ourselves up on the board and get this head hunt underway. And I will be sure to uh, keep my fingers ready should any further challengers come our way. So don't you worry about that. You won't miss out on any of the action. But I will say, make sure you keep an eye on our fellow realm members so you don't miss out on any of the fun that the HUD hunt, the head hunt has to offer. Aha, words. But thank you all so much for coming along with me on today's adventure. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the adventures yet to come. And make sure you share the video with somebody else so that they can enjoy it too. So thank you all so much for coming along with me. And until next time, everybody, peace and love, everybody. Bye-bye.